Hi, it's Tutoring Tim here, your reading buddy. In this video, we're just going to talk about if you were working with your child with vocabulary, how do you get them to uh, improve their spelling, improve their reading? First thing I want you to remember is that reading is visual, spelling is auditory. Many times what we did in the past is we taught reading in an auditory fashion. How many sounds do you hear? That's auditory. So, or sound it out auditory. What you want to do is teach them to see the sounds. That's visual. And what we have to do is train the eyes to see the sounds. And so when I say remember, as I said in other videos, is that when you see the sounds, you see a letter. You're actually seeing a sound. It's pronounced in your head. So if I see the letter T, I see the sound T. Okay? Or I see the letters SH, I see the sound SH. Okay, so what you want to do if you're working with a child, let's say you're working with your child at home and you want to help him with uh, seeing sounds, getting through the word, what we referred to in the past is sounded out. What you could do is uh, work, select uh, maybe say five or six, seven words that follow the certain pattern that you're working with. Uh, say vowel, consonant, silent E. You may choose single syllable words or two syllable words, or maybe three. But then what you would do is place the word on a paper or a board or some electronic device, and you would ask your child, I don't want you pronouncing this word. I want you telling me the number of sounds that you see. I want you to pronounce the sounds for me. Then you can pronounce the word. And you want to make sure it's a word that, the, word that the, your child doesn't know but has heard before. Sometimes that gets difficult, so that's why I like to use nonsense words. One of the books you may choose to help you with that, you could, uh, we call it, uh, We All Can Read, is full of nonsense words. I like to use those because then it assures me that your child doesn't know the word, but it's a word that your child could pronounce. That way, when you place it on the board, they have to see the sounds, pronounce the sounds, pronounce the word. So teach reading or help your child, support your child through a visual manner, not auditory. I'm going to put this word down. Tell me how many sounds you see in that word. So if I put down S-H and O-T, I see one, two, three sounds. Sh, a, t. Pronounce the word for me. Shot. Reverse it for spelling. I'm going to say a word. I don't want you spelling the word. I want you to tell me how many sounds you hear. So let's take the word bake. I'm going to say that, or we'll take it break. I'm going to say the word break. And if you used it in a sentence to mean brake on, on, uh, uh, on your car, some brake pedal, something that stops. And so they understand that. And you'd say, OK, how many sounds do you hear? They should say, I hear one, two, three, four sounds. Hmm. OK, you hear four sounds. Let's talk about what sounds what letters make those sounds? Hmm. So they put down B-R-A-K. Nothing's making your vowel long, so you'd know you'd have to have your silent E there. You'd point that out to your child. So he hears the four sounds. There are actually five letters in the word, but you can help your child understand that anytime in our language. It's about helping our vowels say their names. But help them hear the sounds, pronounce the sound, pronounce the word, or excuse me, hear the sounds, spell the sounds, spell the word. Reverse it for reading. See the sounds? Pronounce the sounds? Pronounce a word. One, two, three. Make it that simple. They'll be very successful. Thank you.